Fear of abandonment is a deep-seated anxiety that can have a very profound effect on your relationships. Whether it stems from childhood experiences or past relationships, this fear can lead to patterns of insecurity, jealousy and dependency that can sabotage even the healthiest of connections. In today's video, we're going to unpack the fear of abandonment, explore how it affects your relationships, and discuss strategies for overcoming it to build healthier, more secure connections. What is fear of abandonment, I hear you say? Well, fear of abandonment is an overwhelming fear that those you love are going to leave you, either physically or emotionally. And this fear can manifest itself in various ways, including anxiety, clinginess, jealousy and a constant need for reassurance. It often stems from early experience of loss, neglect or inconsistent caregiving, but it can also be triggered by traumatic events or past relationships. When you fear abandonment, you may become hypervigilant to signs that someone is pulling away, even if those signs aren't really there. And this can lead to behaviors that push others away, creating this kind of self-fulfilling prophecy where the very thing that you fear, which is the abandonment, becomes more likely because of your behaviors pushing someone away. One of the most common effects of fear of abandonment is a deep-seated insecurity and low self-esteem. If you fear abandonment, you may struggle with feelings of inadequacy and believe that you are not worthy of love or that others are going to leave you because of your perceived flaws. This insecurity can lead to constant self-doubt, second-guessing your partner's feelings, and needing constant reassurance that you are loved and valued. Over time, this can create a strain in the relationship as your partner may well feel overwhelmed by your need for validation or frustrated by your actual lack of self-confidence. So this fear of abandonment can also lead to clinginess and emotional dependency. You may find yourself constantly seeking reassurance from your partner, needing to be in constant contact with them, which can come across as a bit controlling, or struggling to be alone without feeling anxious or insecure. I wanna make a note on controlling, actually. Sometimes controlling behaviors from someone else are to do with fear. Well, often it's to do with fear. Sometimes it's control to manipulate, to coerce, to get you to do what they want. There's almost a conscious aspect to it. I am going to manipulate you and get you running around me and, and uh, dancing to my tune. For some people, the controlling behaviors are actually to protect them. Um, this is gonna sound a bit odd, but controlling behaviors obviously protect the individual doing the control. But for some people it is more unconscious. Like, I need to be safe, I need to be safe. So I, I need to know where you're at, I need to know what you're doing, I'm gonna ping, 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 find out what you're on. And the other person's like going, okay, this is really, really controlling, this is manipulative. Um, well, I, I guess it's where the manipulation doesn't kick in. It can come across that way but on the surface, but actually what they're trying to do is they're very, very scared and they're trying to keep themselves safe. That's just a slight aside. Okay, going back to feeling anxious or insecure, which is perfectly natural to feel close to your partner, but excessive clinginess can be suffocating and create tension within the relationship. Your partner may well feel like they have no space to breathe or that they are being smothered by your need for constant attention, which inevitably tends to push people away, leading to, as I said already, the very abandonment that you're actually fearing and trying to prevent from happening. Okay. Sign number three, jealousy and overreacting. Fear of abandonment can also manifest as jealousy and overreacting to perceived threats. And you might find yourself feeling jealous of your partner's friendships, hobbies, or time spent away from you, even if there's no real reason to be concerned. This jealousy can lead to overreacting to small things, such as your partner being late or spending time with their friends, and you may accuse them of not caring about you, or you might try to control their behavior to prevent them from leaving you. See, we're going back to this control thing, but it's about keeping themselves safe and preventing hurt as opposed to getting you to dance to their tune. So these behaviors can create a toxic dynamic in the relationship, which leads to arguments, resentment and distance. Sign number four, sabotaging relationships. Fear of abandonment can also lead to self-sabotage in relationships. You might unconsciously push your partner away by creating conflict, 
testing their love or distancing yourself emotionally. And this self-sabotage is often a way to protect yourself from the pain of abandonment by ending the relationship before the other person can leave you. However, this behavior often backfires and it leads to the very outcome you fear. Again, by pushing your partner away or creating unnecessary conflict, you make it more likely that they will leave, reinforcing your belief that you're unlovable or destined to be abandoned. Sign numero cinco, difficulty trusting others. Fear of abandonment can make it difficult to trust others especially in close relationships. You may well constantly question your partner's intentions, doubt their love, or fear that they will betray you. And this lack of trust creates a barrier to intimacy and makes it difficult to form deep, meaningful connections. Because without trust, it's hard to build a strong, healthy relationship. And your partner may well feel frustrated by your, your, just your lack of trust, or they may struggle to understand why you're so guarded, and so suspicious. And over time, this lack of trust, well, it just kind of erodes away at the foundation of the relationship, leading to distance and disconnect and unhappiness and resentment and all the rest of it. So how do we overcome the fear of abandonment? This is actually quite challenging, but is it is an essential step in building healthier, more secure relationships. Here are some strategies to help you work through this fear and develop stronger connections. Step number one, acknowledge your fear. The first step in overcoming the fear of abandonment is acknowledging that it exists. I think this is the same for any problem. Any problem you have, any issue you have, the first step is to acknowledge its existence, that it is detrimentally affecting your life. This means recognizing the signs of abandonment, fear, in your behavior and understanding how it impacts your relationships. By acknowledging your fear, you can begin to take steps towards addressing it and working towards um, healing. Step number two, build self-esteem. Building self-esteem is crucial in overcoming the fear of abandonment. When you have a strong sense of self-worth, you're less likely to seek validation from others or fear that they will leave you. So you need to focus on your strengths, your achievements and the positive qualities that make you unique. Practice your self-compassion, positive self-talk and challenge any negative beliefs you have about yourself because fear of abandonment generally comes from feeling invalidated, worthless, either being told this or other people's behaviors in your past kind of giving you this message which you have interjected into yourself and your very being and that becomes your own kind of uh, paradigm that you're operating from, your own belief system that you're worthless, everybody's going to leave, you're always abandoned, you're not worth sticking around for. So you need to challenge all of this because this has actually lowered your self-esteem. So you need to work on building your self-esteem. Step number three to help you do this and, and move past this is to develop healthy boundaries because someone with a high level of or a healthy level of self-esteem has personal boundaries. So developing these boundaries is essential for managing the fear of abandonment. This means setting clear limits on what you will and what you will not tolerate in a relationship and respecting your own needs and emotions, occasionally putting yourself first. Amazing, you know, learning to say no, all of those things, choosing how you're gonna act and choosing what behaviors you're willing to accept. Healthy boundaries are gonna help you feel more secure and in control and reduce the need to cling to others or seek constant reassurance. Step number four, practice mindfulness and self-regulation. Mindfulness and self-regulation techniques can help you manage the anxiety and insecurity that come with the fear of abandonment. Mindfulness involves staying present in the moment and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. And self-regulation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, journaling, I mean, whatever you want, ice bath, the gym, all of this stuff that can help you calm your mind and reduce the intensity of your emotions. I mean, I do this a lot with, do it with uh, equine assisted therapy. So it's about, it's about being present with the whole in the situation it may be a stressful situation you're trying to teach the horse something or the, you're trying to learn something together you are grounded you are in the moment and you are calming your mind and working through stress because obviously if you work with a horse uh, it's the same with the ice if you stress when you're in the ice the ice is going to win if you get stressed with a horse the whole exercise falls apart so it's about learning to regulate your emotions by practicing this mindfulness and self-regulation you can learn to respond to your fear in healthier ways. You'll feel it brewing up. You'll catch the, the, the negative thoughts. And rather than acting impulsively or, or out of anxiety, 
you already have learned the skills or be learning the skills in order to calm yourself down and think clearly, take that step back, pause for a few seconds or maybe a few minutes, whatever you need to do in order to come back with a more objective, healthy approach. Step number five, seek professional support. If your fear of abandonment is really, really deeply ingrained um, or causing significant distress, maybe it comes from a very severe trauma, seeking professional support can be incredibly helpful. It doesn't need to be severe to go see a therapist though. If you are unable to work through it yourself, go see a therapist. It's a second pair of eyes. It's another reflective surface. It's someone who can help you. Explore the, the roots of your fear and how that fear is governing your behaviors and how to undo it and counteract it and work through any underlying trauma and developing strategies for building healthier relationships. And therapy also provides a safe space to process your emotions, obviously. So in the therapy room, you can build your self-esteem and practice new ways of relating to others. Whether you choose individual therapy or couples therapy, professional support uh, can always be a valuable resource in your healing journey. To conclude, fear of abandonment can have a really profound effect on your relationships, but it's not something you have to live with forever. By acknowledging your fear, building your self-esteem, developing healthy boundaries, practicing mindfulness, and seeking professional support, five things, you can overcome this fear and build healthier, more secure connections. If you found this video really helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe, hit that bell. Um, it really does help the channel. Feel free to leave any questions, share your own experiences down below in the comments. Uh, I'm always happy to read them and I try to respond to every, every single comment. Um, and just remember that you do deserve to be in a relationship where you feel secure, valued and loved. And you deserve to feel that security within yourself, from yourself as well. Until I see you next time, please take very good care of yourselves. Adios.